Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Microsoft Patch Day. First of all, sorry I didn't get this video out yesterday. I was just too busy to get a video done. But in any case, the second Tuesday of the month or yesterday is Microsoft's Patch Day. And by the way, Adobe always shares Patch Day as well. Yesterday, Microsoft released 13 security bulletins fixing a number of vulnerabilities in a wide range of their operating systems and products. Overall, they rate six of the bulletins as critical and the rest are rated as important. Now the bulletins fix security vulnerabilities in a wide range of products. Pretty much all their supported operating systems are affected from Windows Vista all the way up to Windows 10. They also release cumulative patches for both their browsers, Internet Explorer, and the new Edge browser. As well, they fixed vulnerabilities in Office products like Word, and they also fixed vulnerabilities in SharePoint Foundation and the SharePoint server. So if you have any of these products, you definitely need to update. I won't go into the vulnerabilities in a lot of details, but they range from Internet Explorer flaws that might allow drive-by download sites to automatically run software on your computer. There's elevation of privilege flaws, which would allow a normal user on your computer to gain full system privileges. And basically, if you combine those two things, a drive-by download could gain full system privileges on your computer. There's also a number of file parsing vulnerabilities in, in journal, uh, office products, and the PDF reader in Windows. So if you handle PDF, Office, or journal documents, malicious ones might be able to leverage these flaws to execute code on your computer. So the takeaway here is if you use any of the affected Microsoft products, definitely go get those updates. I highly recommend doing the critical ones first. Now don't forget Adobe shares Microsoft Patch Day and they released four advisories. The big one is an Adobe Flash. A lot of people use Flash and this update fixes a number of vulnerabilities, some which they rate as priority one, which means bad guys can use them to remotely execute code. Basically, if you go to the wrong site, they may launch a drive-by download against you. Now, there's also fixes for Adobe Connect and Adobe Photoshop, which if you use these products, you should get those updates as well, but they're probably not as serious. In any case, if you're an Adobe user, be sure to check out Adobe security updates as well. Well, that's it for this month's patch day. I'll be sure to share links in the reference section of the blog post associated with this video, so go check them out if you want. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. Thank you.